Hi and welcome back to Dizzy So and So. Uh, today's video is another non sewing uh, video, <laughs> but I think I can get away with it because it's Halloween, or it's going to be Halloween, and this project is all about felting. And I never done felting before before having a practice on this. Um, and it just goes to show you how simple it is. If I can do it, anyone can do it. And it's great with the kids, although these needles are sharp. Okay, so what do you need to do some felting? Well, first, let's look at the project. We're going to be making a little Halloween bat. So I've got two uh, wool tops. One's white for features of the bat, and then black for the main body of the bat. And then you need a felting pad. There's, this is from Prim. Um, and you can get it from all their retailers. Amazon's probably the easiest place to get it. Um, but it's basically like a, a big old brush. Um, and you, you will see how it's used. And then you need your felting needles. Now this is, uh, again, from Prim. And it's a fantastic kit. And I'll show you why. Okay, this handle comes with the felting... Uh, you have to buy your felting needles. So this handle is very ergonomic, really easy to hold, um, and takes how many needles? Two, four, six, seven needles. Um, and the needles you can buy in different uh, grades. Uh, I think I've put the medium uh, grade in here. These are the coarse ones. Um, but for what we need, uh, we need medium or fine, really. Um, but it's great because you can store your needles and not, you know, when you're grabbing it out of your box of stuff, you're not going to stab your fingers. And also, if you notice this one here, this is for all, this is a single needle for all your fine work. So when you come to do things like the batty eyes and the fangs, this is what you're going to need. So that pops in there all nice and safe. And then when you're using it, you need all six needles to do a large piece like the wings, and then you just push on the back to store it away. It's a brilliant bit of kit, but we'll right. see. So, how do we get from this mess of wall top to a nice winged bat wing? Right, dead simple and great for taking your frustrations out on. Just bash away with your needle on the mat. And it combines all the, the fabric, all the, um, oh, what do you call them? All the fibres of the wool together. And it's brilliant. You just keep doing this. Fold that over. Keep folding it in until it starts to combine. So once you've got your piece of felt fabric, which you've just created by uh, stabbing it to death with all those needles, have a good feel around and try and make sure it's nice and even thickness. Now the good thing about felt is I've found a little thin area here is you can just add felt on top, just more wool on top, and carry on going. Just to even up that, that area there and make it and make it as thick as the rest of it. So you've got a nice workable piece of fabric. So now we've got a piece of felt we can work with. We're just going to cut out the shape of the wings. So there we have one bat wing. 
it's important really to get them symmetrical so what I do is place the wing I've just cut out on top of our worked piece of felt and then just cut around that There we go, one pair of fantastic bat wings. So now we want to look at making the, the head and the body. So, grab a bit of the felting wool. And get it a lot more than what you really think you need because it will shrink down a lot. Roll it into the basic shape, which is basically a sausage and start felting again. I want to concentrate on keeping that, that shape into a sausage. So we're trying not to avoid, trying to avoid um, making a flat piece of felt like we've just done for the wings. So we want to do lots of turning. Do be careful with your fingers because these needles are really sharp. So there we are with our bat body, a tapered sausage, nice and simple. Let's move on to the head. So there we have our nice ball shape for our uh, bat's head. Now we need to put some features on. So let's take the individual needle out of our needle kit. We have our felting needles. Stick you back on there. And we get some white wool. And you want them real small pieces to start with. Roll it up into a ball. I'm going to make some eyes now. Let's see if I can get this the right way up. Kind of shaped a face in, into it. So it's kind of got a little bobbly nose bit there. So I want my eyes here. So what I'm going to do first is with my the individual needle, it's kind of felt down like an eye socket. So I'm going to felt away there and work it hard. So I've got a little depression. And now I've got a depression. I'm going to get my little ball of white wool and work it in to the center. There we go. Let's just fold, catch the edges and fold them in. And then bash. And there we are, one eye on our bat. Do the same for the other side. Okay, I've managed to give that eye a little pupil. So I've got a tiny little bit of black wool felting wool here. I'm going to do the same on this side. You know, just take your time and work it right in the center there. Get those fibers to combine. 
and you only need the tiniest bit of wool and then just take your time, fold it in Lovely. Two batty eyes. Now it's time for the fangs. I'm just rolling a bit of white felting wool between my hands until I get a little bit of a sausagey shape. And this is just going to start us off. Cut that in half. Put it in place on your bat face and then slowly start combining the felt onto his face. One little fang. Do the same for the other side. So, <laughs> so there you have it. Uh, wonky fangs. Um, there's my bat face. Here's my bat body. How do we stick them together? Well, that's dead simple. We're going to stick our head on like so. Just pinch that up a little bit. So it's in that orientation. And then we just start to combine the fibers. It's really simple. Now we don't want to go any higher than here because that's where. The sort of definition of the head is, but around the side under that area we can start combining it and already it's on, it's not going to fall off so we'll turn it around and we'll combine the other side and as the fibres bind in you'll create a neck shape as well, you'll have a little Depression. This makes it look very realistic. It's very good. Realistic ish. And wherever there's lumpy bits like that, just go for it with a needle and it will flatten them out. You can shape it nicely. Okay, so there's our bat base on our bat body. It looks a little bit silly at the moment without its wings, so let's get on with our wings. So here's the two wings we made earlier. I'm going to lay them one on top of the other, like so. Oh, I'm just going to combine them before I combine them onto the body. So I'm going to use my big needle set. Felt them together. So now we have one wing. Isn't it great? It's so simple. And we'll bring our body into it. So we want to make sure our rings, wings are the right way up. About there. And then we just combine the felt into our body. So all our fibres have joined in the back here, so our wings will stay on nicely. Uh, but you may have noticed, when I did the head, I forgot the, the ears, so let's do those now. Well there you go, <laughs> there's your felt bats. 
Uh, I think they look really cool actually. Good fun with the kids as well. Really simple and easy project for you to make. However, if you haven't got uh, energy saver cool lamps in your lampshade, don't hang them from there because you'll set fire to the house. Okay, thanks for watching Dizzy So and So. I hope your bats and other projects come out uh, just as well as these because you can make all sorts of things with these Christmas decorations, bats, snowmen, all sorts of things. So your imagination is where it ends. So give it a go and uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.